Hi and welcome back to another CAD video. Today we will do a follow-up video regarding the Regner cooling case which terribly failed. It was the 1700 euro case that was pretty much a pre-built water cooling system with passive radiators on the side. If you now go to the Regner cooling website you will notice that not really much changed so all the claims are still there but you cannot order the case and after double checking with them I messaged them on Instagram and checked what's the status and they told me that for now you cannot order the case and they are working on a version 2. But for now I am very curious and also a lot of you were curious in the comments if the cooling itself is even capable of dissipating any heat if you change like the outside factors, let's say the fans. That's why I ordered these Noctua fans, 140 millimeter, and they have much higher RPM and much higher throughput than the pre-built Be Quiet fans. We will put them in the case and then do some other changes, which some of you proposed in the comments and then see if we can fix the cooling solution. The first attempt some people recommended or asked for is replacing the Be Quiet fans in the front because of the low throughput they have. That's why we'll replace these two with the Noctua fans. There is also an additional 140 millimeter fan sitting in the back right here, which I thought about replacing as well. But then I figured out to replace this one, I would have to disassemble the entire case because above this fan, we have this 3D printed part, which is held by the board. So it means I would have to remove the main board, then remove the entire back part, take out the 3D printed part to then remove the fan. So that's a bit yeah, much, I guess, for probably not worth results. So that's why we will first start removing or replacing the two front fans. I created a bit of a cable chaos inside the case and pulling out all the cables. I was not sure if everything is correct. So first test before I put everything together. Rear fan is working, both fans are working. Pump is also working, that's good. The case was definitely not designed to replace the fans because you might see it in these holes that it's not in line. Could be because these fans with the rubber on there is a bit thicker than the original Be Quiet fans, so it might be that I just have to remove these parts. One thing we will not be able to test is removing the entire front panel because some people pointed out that these tiny triangles might be too small for ventilation. But at the same time, the front cover also holds the side panels in place. That's why we cannot simply leave them away. I'm not sure if you can hear it on the microphone, but you can definitely hear the Nokia fans doing their job. And even if I put my hand above here, I can actually finally feel air coming through these fins. So I'm very curious if this is going to influence the temperatures and how. At least the idle temperature so far improved. It's still the same as last time with 36 degrees Celsius, but I also want to add that right now my room temperature is about 1.5 degrees Celsius warmer than last time. So that's already an improvement. And to also have this aspect covered, I added a temperature probe to the side of the radiator and to keep the like paint in mind and also that I added a bit of thermal paste and we have some like temperature tolerance on the temperature probe. This should be pretty much in line with measured 36 degrees Celsius water temperature and 34.3 right now on the side. Even though the setup is very loud, it does not reflect in performance. As you can see in the chart, we are now at 40 degrees Celsius. It's normalized to the room temperature because the room temperature now is a bit higher than last time. But I normalized this so it's on a fair level and we are now on the state of a single 360 radiator, which is going in the right direction, but it's still far away from what I would expect from this huge chunk of metal. But also in the previous video we had Daniel from Dancase stopping by and he left a comment with an interesting idea. And he pointed out that it might be a good option to use some sort of foil and stick it onto some part of the radiator from the inside to force more air to utilize the entire surface of the radiator. Because right now, kind of also makes sense if you have strong fans in the front, they might only blow fans across the front part of the radiator and not utilize the entire surface. So maybe with a bit of foil we can improve it further. Practically speaking, this means we would have two pieces of this like sticky film. One on top right here and one on the bottom. Still have to make the cutouts for the tubing. And then basically the air will have to squeeze in through here, then go all the way up to the top and all the way up to the bottom through the entire radiator. At least that is the idea. 
Sheik is quite skeptical about our solution. I have to admit, I'm also a bit skeptical. Not sure if this will be a too large gap or too small. I have like, like I have literally no idea if this will work or not. I will just do the same on the other side and then we will find out. Well, that didn't work out. So looking back at the chart, you can see we are back at 41 degrees Celsius, which means that we are pretty much back at stock condition. Could have different causes probably. I think mainly the airflow will be too low, but the only way to improve this would be to improve the front, I guess. But then at the same time, I mean, the fans are now running at 100% fan speed, which also means that even if we would, let's say, remove the front and then run them at an RPM, which is okay for your ears, like, I don't know, like 800 RPM or something like that, then probably we would be just back at the same condition. So it seems like this is not the solution to solve the temperature problems. In my eyes, the last thing to do or to investigate is what happens if we would have a sufficient amount of airflow across the radiator itself. That's why I put three fans on each side, three 140 millimeter fans on the right side and also three 120 millimeter fans here on the left side, just in the center. So we have some kind of airflow, like more than that definitely would not happen with this type of case design. And I guess this way we should be able to figure out if the surface area and the material choice even would work out in theory. My first guess that this would definitely improve the temperatures and it did. I mean it did improve as you can see to 36 degrees Celsius water temperature but we are still three degrees behind a normal dual 360 radiator combination with approximately the same amount of fans. Theoretically we could throw nine fans per side just from the amount of surface we have so we could go for 18 fans, but I mean, that doesn't really make much sense. And also just if you assemble everything, there wouldn't be sufficient space for this amount of fans. Yeah. So it seems like the concept as a whole is not working. Probably the way the water is running behind the fins and that there is maybe too much material to the fins and somehow it just cannot dissipate the heat. I don't think it's related to the paint because the paint would have to be extremely thick. And you can look like in between the fins and you can at some spots also see that it's a very thin paint where you can see the aluminum shining through a little bit. So there's definitely not a huge or like a thick layer. Obviously we could just sandblast this and check out if it works or if it improves the temperatures, maybe by one degree Celsius, but it's not going to improve it by like five or six, which is what we would need for better temperatures than a dual 360 radiator combination. Just for fun, I also calculated the surface area, what we have on here. So we have a fin that's about 44 centimeters long and 2.7 centimeters in height. And that in total is about 119 square centimeters per fin for surface area. I also did it the easy way. So I'm assuming or estimating that one fin is one surface area. You could also look at it from a different perspective that it has two sides and this way the double amount of surface area, but yeah. Let's just take it the easy way. Easy calculation, it would mean that we have about 2.7 square meters of total surface area for both, like combined. If we compare this with this, for example, deep cool assassin, I also did a quick estimate on the surface area. It was about 0 0.5 to 0 0.6 square meters of surface area on here, which means that we would have about four times more, almost five times more surface area on here. So in theory, the surface area is there, but somehow the heat dissipation does not work out. Seems to be like a problem with the way the water is flowing through the fins or like behind the fins and then it for some reason just cannot dissipate the heat. So even if there is a V2 coming, it has to be a rework of the entire concept. Like everything has to be changed. There is not like a simple fix that fixes this thing and gives it like insane temperatures. Something is clearly missing on here. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that we tried the community fixes and tried if it's going to easily fix this concept, but it didn't work out. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time. Bye bye.